here's another episode of Godly Play. Hello, everyone. My name is Matthew Biscop. I'm the director of Christian Formation here at SBC, and welcome to Godly Play. I first want to open up about new ways we're interacting with our children's formation. So during the coming months, we just began it last week, but we had outdoor worship, and we're doing that for the coming months as a congregation. During the service, we're going to be having our children go to something called the playground. They have the option to stay with their parents or go to the playground, but the playground is where we're going to have the children come and do interactive activities to deal with the sermon and other pieces part of formation. We think it's going to be a terrific way to interact with our children and to keep them interested as the sermon is going on. And with that, I'm going to say a brief prayer, and then we can begin our story today. Dear Lord, thank you so much for today. Thank you for being with us, and please guide us during this godly play. Amen. Shall we begin? Today's story is based off Acts chapter 10, verses 44 to 48. The presence of the mystery of God continues to be hidden and revealed. Endings turn into beginnings, and beginnings turn into endings. Jesus died, and yet, in the appearances, somehow seemed to be able to still be with those who knew him. Jesus is taken up, and the Holy Spirit comes down, comes down. The life of Jesus as he was known ends and begins a new way in the birth of the church. The disciples had received the Holy Spirit, and they were sharing the good news of Jesus with everyone they encountered. They would share the good news with people they didn't expect and many people who came to believe the good news of Jesus. This was even a surprise for some of the disciples. One day, Peter and his was speaking to a large crowd, with these being his disciples. Peter was sharing the good news. Peter told them how the prophets prepared everyone for the coming of Jesus. He told the people about God's love for them. He told them that Jesus was killed. He also told them he came back from the dead. Peter said, God sent Jesus for all of us to save us. This here represents the Holy Spirit. And the continuation of the story is, as they heard the good news, the Holy Spirit came to all who were listening. And then Peter and the other believers were so surprised that the Holy Spirit came to people, they didn't expect the Gentiles in that word means the people who weren't Jewish. This was a great surprise, for God was with everyone. Peter, when he saw the Holy Spirit with all, he asked, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing the people who have received the Holy Spirit? just as we have. No, of course not. And Peter and the disciples baptize in the name of Jesus. And in, in this part, we're going to speak about some questions or some concerns that we had possibly from our story. I wonder... As we went through this, how Peter must have felt 
as being the new teacher. Normally, the disciples were listening to Jesus, and now they're listening to Peter. And I also wonder possibly how the disciples felt as Peter being their new teacher. This is a new experience for them. I wonder how they felt about the Holy Spirit. If they felt something, maybe, or they were called to act in a certain way. Because as we know, the disciples, and from our story, they felt the love of Jesus, and then they told other people, and they told about how Jesus loved them. I also wonder, possibly, did Peter get nervous if he was supposed to be very strong and very confident? Did he ever feel uncertain or was he ever questioning certain things? These are all beautiful things to question and wonder because this story is something we really cherish and we want to learn more about. But that is our story for today. And I please encourage you to also wonder and let us know what you wonder about. Because these questions are very important and there are no wrong questions in wondering about the Bible or any questions in here. I'm going to pray and then that will conclude our godly play for this week. Dear Lord, thank you so much for today. Thank you for giving us this incredible story of learning about your disciples and Peter's leadership. Please help anyone with any confusion. Please help anyone with any pieces of processing this story, as it is very important. Thank you so much. Amen. See you, everyone.